GIFs or GIFs, however you like to pronounce them, can be exported in LumaFusion. But what's the point of these small animated graphics? Although they were originally developed back in the 80s as a way to compress large videos as images, GIFs are now used in many ways that enable creators to convey information in an eye-catching and quirky manner. It's common for us to send them to our friends and family as a way of communicating a message in a fun way, but they're also becoming increasingly popular in professional environments. For example, as GIF image files are very small and therefore quick to load, it's common to see them used online to display graphics and logos. They also work really well embedded in website articles, a great way to demo a process, visually describe a workflow, or simply add a colourful, eye-catching element to what would otherwise be a block of text. With that in mind, you can also integrate GIFs into your weekly newsletter, and even add hyperlinks sending readers to your website or perhaps YouTube videos. These animations can be sourced from platforms such as Giphy.com, or you can make them yourself with your own images and videos. This is a great way to communicate a process or give a product demo for audiences with little time or short attention spans. So let's have a go together at creating a GIF in LumaFusion from start to finish. On your LumaFusion timeline, you're going to craft your GIF just as you would do a video. Use images, photos, text and transitions to make your graphics stand out. When you're happy, press the export icon on the timeline toolbar, select GIF animation and choose its location. In the export settings, you can adjust the resolution, frame rate, and decide whether or not you want the GIF to loop. Looping is standard for a GIF, so this will automatically be toggled to on, but you can turn this off if you like. Export by tapping the share button, and once it's created, you'll be able to watch your GIF back in your saved location, ready to be used or shared with others. What's cool is that GIFs can also be brought back into LumaFusion if you'd like to use them as a quirky layer on a video project. Simply import them into the app or find them in your camera roll and drag to the timeline to edit as you would do any other clip. Let us know how you'll be using GIFs in your next project by tagging us on our social media channels. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the LumaTouch YouTube page for notifications as soon as we drop new content. That's it from us for this week, but we'll see you very soon for more tips and tricks from the LumaTouch Academy.